Hello dear student, welcome to Electrotech CC. In this video, we are going to discuss about the basics of transistor. So let's begin. Basically, a transistor consists of two back-to-back PN junctions manufactured in a single piece of semiconductor crystal. Thus, two junctions give rise to three region called emitter, base and collector as you can see in the figure. Junction transistor is simply a sandwich of one type of semiconductor material between two layer of, of the other type. N material sandwiched between two layer of P type material. It is described as PNP transistor. An NPN transistor consists of a layer of a P material sandwiched between two layer of N type material. The base, emitter, collector are provided with terminals which, which are labeled as E, B and C. The two junctions are emitter base junction and collector base junction. The symbols employed for NPN and PNP transistors are shown in the figure. The arrow is always at emitter, not at the collector. And in each case, its direction indicates the conventional direction of current flow. For PNP transistor, arrowhead points from emitter to base, meaning that emitter is positive with respect to base. For NPN transistor, it points from base to emitter, meaning that base is positive with respect to emitter. Now let us discuss individual section of transistor. First one that is emitter. It forms the left hand section of region of the transistor as shown in the figure. It is highly doped than any other region because its main function is to supply majority charge carrier either electrons or holes to the base. Next one section that is base. It forms the middle section of the transistor. It is very thin, approx 10 raised to minus 6 meter that is in micrometer as compared to either the emitter or collector and is very light doped. Next one that is collector. It forms the right hand side section of the transistor and its main function is to collect majority charge carrier through the base. In most transistors, collector region is made physically larger than emitter region because it has to dissipate more power. Because of this difference, there is no possibility of inverting the transistor. That is, making its collector the emitter and its emitter the collector. For proper working of transistor, it is essential to apply voltage of correct polarity across its two junctions. Now let us discuss the transistor biasing. First one that is emitter base junction is always forward bias and second one collector base junction is always reverse bias in the normal condition. Two batteries respectively provide the DC emitter supply voltage VEE and collector supply voltage VCC for a proper biasing the two junction of the transistor. Positive terminal of VEE is connected to P type material. P type emitter in order to ripple or push holes in the base. The negative terminal of VCC is connected to the collector so that it may attract or pull holes through the base. Similarly, considerations apply to the NPN transistor. It must be remembered that transistor will never conduct any current, its emitter base junction is not forward bias. Now let us discuss the important rule of biasing. For NPN transistor, both collector and base are negative with respect to emitter and collector is more negative than base. Similar for NPN transistor, 
both collector and base are positive with respect to emitter. Again, collector is more positive than base. Now next one that is transistor current. Three primary currents which flows in a properly biased transistor are IE, IB and IC as shown in the figure. The direction of flow as well as relative magnitudes of thus currents for a PNP transistor connect in common base mode IE is equal to IB plus IC. It means that a small part about 1 to 2 percent of emitter current goes to supply base current and remaining major part 98 to 99 percent goes to supply collector current. Moreover, IE flows into the transistor whereas both IB and IC flow out. The flow of currents in the same transistor when connected in common emitter connection then IE is equal to IB plus IC. For normal conventional current flow into a transistor are taken as positive whereas thus flowing out of it are taken as negative. Hence, IE is positive, whereas both IB and IC are negative. Apply Kirchhoff's current law, we have IE is equal to IB plus IC. The statement is true regardless of transistor type or the transistor configuration. So, in this video, we had discussed about the four basic guide posts about all transistor circuits are. First one, conventional current flow along the arrow whereas electron flow against it. Emitter base junction is always forward bias and collector base junction is always reverse bias. That means IE is equal to IB plus IC. So this is the basic information about a transistor. In the next video, most of the integrated circuits are made up of transistor. That's it for today's video lecture. Thank you.